It's really important for uh, those of us in higher education to get out of our silos occasionally and focus on uh, the fact that our students go on to a wide range of careers and a wide range of degrees. And so each of us has to understand the full range of challenges and opportunities. I think uh, the findings, particularly on educational level of parents, affecting uh, the knowledge of pursuing advanced degrees should be a call to action. That we really need to pay attention that all our students, including those who don't have highly educated parents, uh, have exposure to the benefits of higher education. For me, one of the, the biggest calls to action is, is really about equity and access. Uh, that's something that LSAC works on all the time. And I do not want to be part of replicating privilege. I think it's so important for us to try and really open up doors and really open up access and equity. And so when I see in the report that it's so much more likely that someone whose parent was in higher education, that they will be in higher education, I realize that's where we need to work and to make sure we really get out there and, and help encourage everyone to find their passion in education. I think the call to action are the sort of series of findings around first generation students, around minority students, uh, and in particular the findings around African American students. Uh, they're not getting advice and information from their professors at the same rate that other cohorts are. And that suggests both a degree of alienation on campus, but also it suggests that uh, there might be some difficulty of connecting between those two groups, the professors and the students. It was a surprise to me coming in. I haven't done much data collection in my professional life. We knew so little about what the college students think. So someone said, you mean no one's ever asked them before? And we said, no, no one's ever asked before. So now that we've asked, we want to get the findings out to the world. John White mentioned these informal mechanisms that have been relied upon to get information to students about going to graduate school. Um, and I think what this research shows to me is that um, maybe there needs to be more of a formal effort or there should be um, time and money put on initiatives that are really reaching out to specific groups of students who clearly aren't, aren't getting as much information about, about graduate and professional school. And I'd, I'd add to that that I think the, the personal contact uh, personal uh, contact between faculty, between advisors is really important. You know, technology and, and university websites and emailing and social media, that's all really important. But our survey found that the most important source of advice uh, comes from human beings, it's uh -huh. conversations, uh -huh. and that's, that's, really, that's really important for the future. It's really important that all of our talented students who have the ability to go on to higher education get the information, see the opportunities, and are able to seize it. And we need to make sure we're really accomplishing that. I think we have to focus very, very closely on what this data shows this about what we're doing in advising, both with our faculty and with our professional advisors, our career advisors, and our academic advisors. Uh, they need to really understand the populations they're dealing with and the differentials uh, in terms of knowledge and opportunity for advanced degrees among the various populations they serve.